There is one big problem with keto coffee or bulletproof coffee. You can't add protein to it. You can add collagen, but you're not getting the full amino acid profile. If you add a scoop of protein powder to hot coffee, you know what happens. It completely solidifies, it gelatinizes, it turns into chunks. So you end up having a protein shake in one hand, your bulletproof coffee in another hand, and you're trying to drive down the road, and your wife's upset because you got the cup holders all occupied. Okay, I'm going down my personal life here. Okay, so let me show you how you can make a cold brew keto coffee so you can actually add protein into it. It's super easy. You can make it as complex as you want to. But anyway, so all I have here is one cup of ice, all right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add one tablespoon. In this case, I'm using Jot Coffee. You can use a cold brew coffee of your choice, but I like Jot Coffee just because it's super convenient. I add one tablespoon and it's 20X coffee concentrate, so it makes it super easy. So I just add that. Mix it super easy. By the way, there is a code down below if you want to try Jot. You can use code THOMAS20 and save 20% off. That way you can check them out. Super convenient, like I was just saying. Like you use one scoop and that goes with 8 to 10 ounces of cold water, cold milk, whatever. You can just instant latte. Anyway, I digress. Then I go ahead and I add some almond milk. Just again to taste here. And you can make it as much of a frappe as you want, super thick or not. Okay, then here's the hard part. If you are using cold coffee usually, you can't really do the butter, you can't really do the ghee. Why? Because, well, again, once you cool it down, it's gonna solidify and you're gonna get all these chunks in it, so it becomes a big problem. So if you're making this cold, you have to stick with MCT oil. So in this case, I'm gonna use about one and a half to two tablespoons of MCT oil, probably closer to one tablespoon, and then I'm also gonna use avocado oil. Why on earth would you put avocado oil? Doesn't that taste funny? No, good quality avocado oil doesn't have much taste, and avocado oil is very high in oleic acid. Okay, that means that you are getting what's called the conversion to oleoethanolamine, OEA, within the body. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna eyeball about a tablespoon into this. There we go. Then optional things. Okay, I'm gonna add some cacao because if you've ever had bulletproof coffee with a little bit of cacao powder, it tastes delicious. Just gives it a little bit more of those flavonoids. And by the way, that OEA that I was talking about helps convert white fat into brown fat, meaning it helps your fat cells turn into the kind of fat cells that burn basically energy as heat. So you're utilizing more calories, just creating heat. You really want that, especially when you're starting your day. Now, the whole idea behind this recipe is now I can add a protein powder scoop of my choice. In this case, I'm using like a uh, pea protein powder. You can use whey, whatever you want to do. Optional, you can add some chia to it if you wanted to add some more calories and some more soluble fiber. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in there because I'm a big fan of soluble fiber, but again, this is getting a little bit more complex, maybe a half a tablespoon or so. I'm not doing it in this case, but you can also add avocado if you wanted to make it more like a cold brew smoothie. Let me show you how easy this is. Okay, there it is. I've got the Jot coffee. I've got the ice. Just so you can get an idea, you could take this with you just on the road, that easy, but just to show you how smooth it comes out. It's basically like kind of a Starbucks Frappuccino type of thing. You could also add some monk fruit if you wanted to make it a little bit sweeter. There you go. Now you have all the makings, also all the calories that you want consolidated into the morning in one easy to make on the go beverage. Remember also, if you want to try this Jot Coffee, I highly recommend it. It's super convenient. There's a link down below so you can save 20% using that code. It is a game changer when it comes to your daily coffee regimen, but also allows you to do stuff like this. So anyhow, remember the big problem with Bulletproof Coffee, not that it's bad, is that you don't get a complete breakfast out of it. You don't get something you usually have to drink it alongside a protein shake or you have to drink it alongside an already caloric breakfast, therefore making your breakfast like 1200 calories. This way you can actually make a one-stop shop shake for it and you can be on the go. It's just typically difficult to do that when it's cold. Now you can do it. You just use cold brew, you use Jot, and you use the right kind of oils that'll mix with cold coffee because you can't be using those saturated fats. It just won't work and it won't taste good. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Check out Jot down below in the description. And if you want more quick on-the-go recipe style videos, post down below in the comment section what you have a need for, and I will do my best to create something for it. I'll see you tomorrow. That is so good.